Hi there, it's Kaya from Kajko Crafts and today I will show you how simple it is to use small stamps and stamp them in a shape. I decided to make a heart shape and the easiest way for me to do so is to take a die and outline it. I am using this hard die that Honeybee recently released and I will just hold it down and use a pencil to make my way around it. When I remove it, you will see that I didn't press really hard, so the outline is there, but it's not seen really well. But that's actually the point, because you want to be able to erase it later. So I will start stamping now. When I'm stamping like this, I want to go in with the biggest stamps first, and then fill the empty spaces in with the smaller stamps. So I stamped out these two flowers first and then I will just continue stamping and I will use different shapes, for example this spiral image and then later I will use beasts and some heart shapes and I will also use leaves. And as you can see I'm trying to make sure that the outline will be seen really good because the outline of the heart will help our eyes to see the heart. So I will just be stamping this randomly, filling out any white spaces. So I'm using stamps from different sets. I will link everything below if you are interested in the exact stamp sets. But I will just stamp everything out, filling the spaces and for the smaller pieces I will just use this Copic multiliner and I will just draw in some dots. So once I stamped everything out I will use my alcohol markers to color everything in. I will do normal coloring, so I will go from the darkest color to the lightest. I will be using this green, then I will be using some yellows for the bees and for the center of the flowers. And this peach color will be for the bloom and also for the hearts that you can see that are outlined there in the center. So once everything is colored in, I will stamp out the sentiment and I'm so sorry I didn't realize the camera stopped working but I didn't do anything special I just stamped out the sentiment that you can see here that reads you make me ridiculously happy and now I will just put this on a piece of green cardstock that is the same size as my card base so I will take the card base and I will glue it down I will make sure that I have everything lined up and then I decided that my card needs just a little bit more of a detail so I use this white gel pen and I will just draw in some things and I wasn't really happy with the placement of the sentiment so I made another card and I put a sentiment down for around quarter of an inch so this is actually it. I hope that you will try to make this fun card. As said, I will link everything below in the description box in case you are interested in the supplies and can't wait to see your take on this technique. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye bye!